cast their votes today, so we are going to continue to see that number tick up. And you know, the, the big question earlier today that we kept getting asked, getting asked a lot was, when could we see Georgia be called? When could we see the national race for the White House be called? Uh, the answer is, we're going to see. You heard Secretary Raffensperger say something similar at the end of his press conference. He was asked and he said, wait and see. Yeah. Um, as Faith pointed out, and, and we have results here, we might want to take them uh, full screen here, but uh, 3.67 million results are now reported. That's about 68% of the estimated total vote in Georgia. That's a lot of votes. But that remaining roughly 30% is going to be decisive. So as we watch these results, as you see former President Trump out to a lead, about 52% to 46% right now in our state, if you are a former President Trump supporter, our panelists have told us it's too early to celebrate. If yeah. you're a supporter of Vice President Harris, too early to get too down in the dumps. Yeah. Um, no matter how you feel, and you heard Secretary Raffensperger say it as well, the data is still coming in. The and data is, that's, that's where the whole story is, right? So yeah. wait and see. That's the word right now. And you will continue to see these margins change here. Um, we have seen the margin actually tighten throughout the night with this race. Um, what we're looking at now, like we said, 3.6, over 3.6 million voters. If you look at that top right corner of your screen, 68% of the estimated total vote. So these numbers are still going in. Keep in mind, uh, these a lot of these votes were not able to be counted until 7 o'clock this morning. We're talking about those early voting numbers, those two weeks of early voting that you were able to go in and cast your ballot early, as well as those absentee ballots. And then a lot of the other races not able to be called or um counted rather until the close of polling and a lot of those polls the poll locations close some of them having to stay open a little extra because of uh, some hiccups that we saw but as the Secretary of State was just saying just now that it seems like most of the things have been smooth sailing. Yeah. And I think this is a good time to note two big things. First off, another race projection. NBC now projects that Mississippi will go to former President Trump. Again, the state of Mississippi projected by NBC to be carried by Donald Trump. We also want to note right now, because as we know, if you're watching, we know that you want to know the Georgia story, but if you're watching, we know you also want to know the nationwide story. Polls have now closed in six of the seven battleground states. That doesn't mean all the results are in, but it means the polls have closed. And